So in this video, uh, what I'd like to show you is uh, this map here of the U.S. And we can see here that I can click on all the different states. Every state is a different and separate uh, polygon. And they have them all listed out here, as you can see in the uh, list, uh, the object manager. Uh, so all the way starts from the top all of, uh, with Alabama. It starts with Alabama, goes all the way down to basically Wyoming. And if I go to the materials now, you can see that um, each of the states have their own material actually associated with it. Um, now what I've done was I have this other group which is hidden which basically just has all a whole bunch of text objects. Each text object correlates to a, a state. right? So I have South Carolina, I've got Nevada, Louisiana, all of them. Now on these, I have a script on each one of these guys. If I open up the script I basically say um, okay so what I'm doing in this script I'm taking an image that's located in the images folder inside of a col inside of a folder called colors and I'm saying whatever this text says this Alabama text whatever you write in here I want you to try and go and get that image called color underscore whatever that text is dot JPEG now if I go into that folder into that colors folder you can see that I have color underscore blue dot JPEG and color underscore red dot JPEG so whatever text I write in here in this Alabama text object right now it says blue so it's actually going to go and fetch that color underscore blue dot JPEG and attach it to Alabama one object now Alabama one object is obviously this guy here right so if I show or hide it you can see so you can see that it's blue right now so no now what we can do with this is and I did the same thing to all the other uh, states obviously right so I have a text object for each state and that script on each on each of those text objects so now what I can do is when I bring this into the sequencer I have my preview down here I'll just detach that to make it bigger now what we can do is use the template data window here and go through all the different states like say for instance um, Alaska which is now set to let's set it to red if I just type in red you see Alaska turns red Actually, all this should be hidden, so let me just go back in there and hide that entire group. There we go. So now we can actually change. I'll go to Alabama, change that to red. So now you see Alabama goes red. So any image, so you can, I made it in this way so that, uh, you know, clients can customize whatever colors they want. They can, you know, paste any other color JPEG in here as long as they ad adhere to the naming convention of color underscore the name of the color dot JPEG. So let's go ahead and add a bunch of a bunch more uh, images to here. I'll take up all these which are already pre-made. I'll cut them and paste them into this folder. So now I have a lot more folders that we can, uh, a lot more colors, sorry, that we can use. So I have gray, green, navy, orange, beige, um, yellow. So now I can go in here and type any one of those uh, those names again for colors. So if I just type in orange, Alabama goes orange. If I type in um, yellow, Alabama goes yellow. So this is a really cool and quick way to really um, color your states, any color you want, and get the result immediately. All you got to do is just you know put those colors that you want in here inside the images, uh, inside the colors folder of the images, the way I have it set up. So that's what I wanted to show you here. Thanks a lot for watching.